It's gonna be LS stuff. Lots of LS stuff. And turbo stuff. Turbo LS stuff. All right, party people. We're working on Ricardo's truck today. And what are we doing? We're wiring. We're gonna start wiring today. Oh yeah. Um, flip you guys around. All right, so what Ricardo is doing, he's, dr <laughs> he's drilling a hole uh, right through his cab so we can run the positive cable to this bar right here, which I'm bolting in right now as we speak. Um, that way he can put whatever power source he wants to that bar instead of running it all the way back here to the battery. Now for his negative, He's got a kill switch. Now, how I ran my kill switch on the back of my car, obviously I went through the negative, so there's no chance for the positive to spark. And what he has done is put his kill switch right in here. So, pretty clever. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. It is awesome. <laughs> um, so we're gonna run his negative cable uh, to this switch. Um, and then the other side, the other post on the switch, we're gonna run to ground. So for those of you that want to run a kill switch, the negative is definitely the best way um, because if you try to do it on the positive, it just, it's not, it's not safe. Cause you've got, if you turn the switch off with the negative connected, you don't have ground for the battery. So you don't have power. If you do it with the positive cable and there's some kind of mess up, the battery is still grounded, which will give it power. So it's just, it's better to do it with the ground. Um, and that's my two cents on that. Makes sense? Smart. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Uh, yeah. See you guys in a few. It's big enough, that's what she said. <laughs> I got you on camera too. <laughs> All right, so he's got the holes drilled, front and back, and then we just got this bolted in. So like I said, we can run any power source for that because on this one we're gonna run it from the battery. Boom. And good? That's great. Cool. So, what was I gonna do here? Oh, you got your fuse block. Here, let's yes. show them the fuse block real quick. Get them. It's the same. It's similar. No, it is the same one I have. Yeah, same one. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Okay. So let's see here. So what we're gonna do is put his fuse block right here, which this is the center of his cab, um, kind of towards the floor. So we'll ground that right to the back, and then another power source right to the block. That way, again, his power source is gonna be coming from here. We can run whatever grounds and positive wires we want to that, like his fans and radio, whatever. What radio? What radio? Your exhaust radio. So that'll be cool. And a big shout out to Matt Strong because what are we using for our battery cables? Jumper cables. It's so simple. And maybe some of you guys are like, yeah, why didn't you thought of that? Dude, so how much is a set of jumper cables? 11 bucks. Like 11 bucks, right? Well, look at how long these jumper cables are. 20 foot. There's your positive and ground. Your positive and negative battery cable. That's it. We just cut the ends off, and now we can use that wire. So simple. So a little hack there. If you guys are wanting to buy some wire, just buy some cables and use those. Because we'll have enough. Dude, we'll have enough to do your truck and Skyler's car. Yeah. More than enough. More than enough. Oh yeah. So yep, and he's got his gauges all wired. It's obviously fall, guys. It's kind of sad. Yeah. We got the 52 covered. We got the Camaro covered. Even though I've taken that out like three times today, but it's just kind of depressing out. But we are gonna get some runtime on this. Though. We are. So the the ultimate goal would be to have this truck done and being able to drive it to his house. But if not, it's okay. It's okay. Yep. All right. Let's get to the next step, which is what? What are we doing next? Oh, I where'd you go? The kill switch. Okay. Well, I'm gonna find a spot for your fuse block and then okay. just mount it. All right. Hard was making noise out there. Uh, and I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna use 
use for this is some self tappers. We got four of them. It's the sloppy way, people. so loud in the video. Don't step on me. Don't step on you. Step on you where? Oh, that was easy. Peter, it doesn't matter which one it goes on, right? Um, no, no, no. It doesn't. Because okay. one, either way, one's going to go to ground on the truck and then yeah. one's going to go to the native battery battery post need a, need a battery never mind you made it dang dude you made it she's in there cool that's solid that's what she's doing. Right. going nowhere all right cool so now that that is ready i'm gonna find a cable Go from here to here. All right, there's it. Go, dang dude! Almost stepped on your head. I told you. Almost died. <laughs> Bring you guys in a little closer. Just four there, and it's in. Solid. Not going anywhere. Same with this. Although this is bolted on the bottom, but you get the idea. Okay. This little kit here. Hey, how much did you pay for this uh, 65 piece terminal connector uh, thing? $12. 12 bucks? So worth it, man. That's coming in handy. So we got this little guy here for power on the fuse block to the power block. And then, so what's this wire? You said four gauge? Yes. Yeah, this is pretty nice wire. We got a bunch of this stuff too. And he just did that to his. Where are you putting this? Switch, uh, kill switch to ground. Ground, got gotcha. you. Frame. Okay, cool, cool. All right, well, let's put this in while he does that. Yeah, yeah, you'll be good. You'll be good. All right. right Sorry, it's go. so dark, guys. It's I'm what, like in. six o'clock and it's getting dark. What, bud? I'm going in. I'm under the. Step okay, on. if you didn't hear him, he's going in. He I'm is going, going in. I'm going ham. You go. <laughs> see here. All right. Don't worry, we will tighten that up more. So it's away from the from this a little bit. Okay, cool. So we'll tighten these up, and then we just got to run the ground to. I'm gonna say we're run it to this. We'll have to sand this down. But uh, yeah, it's nice as this kit came with a ground block as well. So if we wanted to, we could hook this up somewhere, but we'll save that for now. I just yeah. killed a roach. You killed a roach? <laughs> That's weird. All right, so yeah, we'll um, we'll do this next and probably just run it, I don't know, maybe right here or something, just so it's kind of a way. Yeah, easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. Am I gonna step on your head? Maybe. Damn it. Okay, so we got that ground down and that's uh, bolted in. So we're just gonna do this little number. Look at all these little tiny, tiny pieces. Tiny washers. They're babies. They are tiny. Um, Ricardo got his switch installed. So that's cool. Um, where's that socket at? Dang it. Uh, did you it's dark. Oh, right there. Beauty. Go over and 
tighten these. Actually, we just gotta tighten this one, that one, and that one. But we have all the necessary tools. Right here. That's it, guys. So after I, I'm gonna go back through right now and tighten these up, but uh, it's getting dark. So after that, we're probably gonna call it. But we got the battery where we want it, and I have a battery box for them that we'll still have to mount, but that's easy stuff. But this is kind of a big uh, milestone, if you will, yes. starting the wiring. So now that we got this all set, his fuse panel is going to be powered as soon as we run positive to this from the battery. But it's grounded, and that's it, guys. I mean, that's, it's kind of a simple setup. And the reason that I left so much space in between here, we're going to put his relays right here. So kind of like how I have mine on my panel for the fuse block, and I've got relay is kind of lined up here we're going to do something similar with this you want me to so, show them the relay yeah yeah where's the relays let's check those out hong kong hey express guys. yeah you know how we do we like the budget stuff but how much were these how much did it come with six so or five? five so a box of five for 20 bucks 20 bucks I'm telling you you go to o'reilly's and you try to buy one of these for with the pigtail piece. let me let me know <laughs> they're very expensive so that's and that's exactly what i did um, I bought a kit from Amazon and it hasn't failed me yet, so I'm not down there. But yeah, cheap, 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 baby. And we got this wire from Amazon too, which was super cheap. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put those under the fuse block, but like I said, that's gonna wrap it up for tonight because it's getting dark. So until next Tomorrow. time guys. Let's go over here so we can see. <laughs> so tomorrow's plan. Um He's gonna be back to do some more wiring. Um, I'm leaving early to go, I gotta tune a GTO, my buddy Cody's GTO. And my wife's leaving for the day, so I'll have the kids. So I won't be out too much tomorrow. But Ricardo, like I said, Ricardo's coming over. He's gonna button some other stuff up. Hopefully, you know what you should do tomorrow? So that's his battery box up there. Um, if you want, get that battery box in and drill the holes through it for the cables. True, we can do that And that'll be done. But we got some stuff done tonight. It's a good little start to getting the wiring buttoned up on that. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Well, that's it for tonight. We'll catch you later.